Tonight, Phoenix police providing new information on the human remains found at South Mountain Park. Officers telling 12 News that additional remains were found Saturday by investigators. So earlier this month, a hiker found a human skull during a search of that area on Saturday, detectives say they found even more remains in that same area. Right now, the Maricopa County Medical Examiner's Office working to try to identify them all. But tonight, we wanted to know exactly how they do it. Exactly. Team 12's Chase Golightly talking with experts tonight about the process and how it's nothing like what we see on TV shows. On these valley hiking trails, gruesome discoveries. Human skulls and other remains like this found by hikers. Phoenix police say two sets of remains were found on South Mountain within two weeks, believing one of the people was murdered. Then at the beginning of the month in Buckeye, this skull was found tucked away in the desert. All three sent to the county medical examiner's office to be identified, which, unlike what you see in the movies, takes time. It doesn't take five minutes. Taken from Adriana Saratorio and Sri Kantaswamy, both teach forensic science at ASU and say a lot of information needs to be taken in to work. Scientists cannot really hurry up the process. The most powerful tool they have to identify is DNA analysis. And you can get DNA from tissues, bone, teeth, uh, personal artifacts. But it's not like once the DNA is pulled, they know the name of the person. Scientists also need to match it to a reference sample, DNA of a family member, dental records, or items belonging to the suspected victim. You have, for example, their comb, and you can get hair for, from the victim. Which is why just days after these remains were found in Buckeye, we learned they didn't belong to Daniel Robinson, the local geologist who was reported missing in the area back in 2021. Robinson's reference sample didn't match the remains. If scientists can't find a reference sample, this is when the job becomes much more difficult. They have to turn to national databases like missing persons. It's like a Google search. You're looking for profiles that match. If you don't have a profile that match matches, it remains in this database. Which again is why this takes time and patience if there are no matches. It can take weeks, it can take months. While no results show now, that could change with time. These investigations are always ongoing. We learned those remains found in Buckeye belong to 35-year-old Juan Fierro, taking investigators about a month to identify. We'll be sure to keep you updated on these two most recent cases as information becomes available. We're in Phoenix tonight, Chase Golightly, 12 News.